1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3-4, through 4, there is one mediator between God and men. This is good, and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and man, God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. So, we know that God is omnipotent. He's above this program. He's above Satan, infinitely more powerful. And there is one way to get to him, and it's through Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. So, it goes without saying, those folks who say, you know, I'm praying to my ancestors, I'm praying to angels, you're going to miss God. That's not God's word. You pray to God directly in the name of Jesus. For those who pray to statues, there are a lot of people, they pray to the saints, and little statues, they're called Catholics. You're going to miss the mark. You, we, we are to pray to God directly. Know that you have access to God. Know that God is infinitely more powerful than this program, than Satan, as is Lord Jesus, than Satan, than any principality, power, name, authority. Infinitely more powerful. And he is enough to carry you through this. He didn't end the Roman Empire, and they were really never friendly with Christians for hundreds of years, but he carried many Christians through, and they continued to grow and grow and grow in number. And he can carry us through this program, and he can do it in such a way that no matter how much targeting he allows, he will empower us to bear it, and we will still have contentment in the face of all of the suffering. One thing that's holding you back from that contentment with the Lord under all circumstances is disobedience. Just like if we disobey our parents, we're going to have problems. It's the same thing with the Lord. And that is the same thing that brought down Sodom and Gomorrah. Behold, this was the guilt of your sister Sodom. She and her daughters had pride, excess of food, and prosperous ease, but did not aid the poor and needy. They were haughty, and it goes on. It's tithes and offerings. You are in disobedient, James 4, 7. If you know you're supposed to be do something and you don't do it, it's sin for you. You know you're supposed to be paying your tithes and offerings, helping the poor and needy. The reason Solomon, one of the reasons why Solomon and Gomorrah was destroyed, and you're not doing it. And that may be why, if you are overwhelmed by this program, or if you can barely hang in there, and you're barely coping, that may be the key that is keeping you from experiencing the fullness of God's blessings. And the fullness of God carrying you through this program is that you are robbing him, Malachi chapter 3, you are robbing him of tithes and offerings. Regardless of how much you make. When I was homeless, I paid tithes and offerings. P people gave me money. I gave at least 10% away to another person who's homeless. Always. Generally more than 10%. So... Consider that. Maybe that may, may be why you're not content under all circumstances because as time progresses, the, the Lord makes me more and more content under all circumstances. I send out my love to all of you beautiful TIs. Please help my humble channel grow. Like, subscribe, and share. God bless.